Hello Sagittarius. Thank you for tuning into this week's read. The theme for this one is going to be what is your heart trying to tell you? For the tarot part, I'm using the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. For the Oracle cards, Wisdom of the House of Night. Way back here, down over there is who it's from. I just don't want to butcher that name, which I'm really good at. But if you want them, if you go on Amazon, I believe you can easily find them. Okay, messages for Sagittarius. I just there's not okay. Let's just do this to this. We don't have a lot of tarot cards out on this one. I'm not really sure why, but this seems to be covering that. Okay, let's just make sure we get these as in frame as much as possible. So you can see them. And if we're going to do them this way, might as well have it so you can see them. Move them over this way a little bit. Okay. I do feel like there's a break here, so I feel like that's important to see. You got choices overlapping the Ace of Pentacles. You got the High Priestess of Earth on your side, the Oath on the other side. So your heart, like, I'm already getting like. Your heart is trying to tell you that what you're coming... There's so much earth right here. I know there's literally only two cards, but this oath... Like an oath, that's very much an earth feeling. Like taking an oath. The choice, like when you... Whatever you choose, sticking to it. Like this, this is a very strong earth feel to me. Whatever you're getting involved with, it's kind of like however you're going to handle it, this is long haul. Now... I don't feel like this part is, should be a surprise for the people who chose to watch this reading or if it's really connecting with you. But what I'm getting is like, they're just reiterating the person or people you're dealing with are just as dedicated as you. It seems like they're, they're acknowledging the match in the energy. Like, High Priestess of Earth, Earth is very dedicated. The Oath, Oath is a very strong dedication feeling. The Ace is saying, this situation is actually going to succeed. I mean, if you, if you look ahead here, you can see there's success here. The, Ten of Cups is a version of success, in my opinion. It's just realizing the choices you're making. You're, I, I almost feel like this is the beginning to like make sure. Because you should be at that stage where you're making choices. It's almost like saying, like you're building a house. And every piece of the house you're putting in place is not going to move. It's it's there and it's, it's supposed to stay there for the duration. You know what I mean? You're building a house, you're building a house a certain way. And that's like if it's a Victorian house... When it's built, that's that's it. You're not you can't change the angle of it. You can't you're not gonna change the style of it. That wouldn't make sense. It's built to last. This situation is built to last. So you have choices in the beginning, but you know, have that foresight to realize, you know, you wanna make choices for the long haul. You don't wanna make choices that are good for now, you wanna make choices for the long haul. Uh, realizing like three years, four years, ten years from now, the choices you made today are still in effect. Now, you got these two face down cards. <laughs> okay. These both are face down. This is what your heart's trying to tell you. I knew it was over here more. You need to be involved at the level you want in the very beginning. The level that you want to be, like, think of that. Like, however you're involved, you, this is a level you're going to stay at, which could be. If you're heavily involved at this point, you will always heavily be involved. If you're not involved very much, you will not be involved very much continually going forward. It's kind of a double-edged sword. I feel like for the Sagittarius energy, you want to keep it more minimal, but you also want to have a very strong impact when, when necessary. You want to be able to make decisions when necessary. You want your voice to be heard. But you don't want to be running the show is really what I'm getting because I feel like down the line it can be very, like it can be very taxing emotionally is what I'm getting. So they're just I feel like your heart's trying to tell you like be aware like there's a they're making a very big 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 point here. There's a lot of earth here. However you're involved today is how you're going to be involved almost like ten years from now is how I feel. It's almost like saying well. This will do for now. This makes sense for now. Let's just get you know, just throw up a couple walls. Get the get a get a roof on there that works. It doesn't have to be that pretty. Let's just make it functional. 
that might be a mistake in this situation is what they're saying because taking your time and slowly pulling things together the way you want it to be together defining your role and how intense you want your role to be at this point is going to last i almost feel like i know people who they threw up some walls you know they just got them up you know they got a nice house the house is nice but it's just very plain because they just wanted it there and they just wanted a house and they planned on doing different things with it later, but it never happened. And I feel like that's what they're saying. Whatever you start with is what you're going to stick with. All right. So I really hope this um, reading is hitting for those who need it. Your heart is saying, put, get out of it what you really want. Be careful not to get over involved. You want to have impact, but you don't want it to drain the life out of you because you will be very involved with it. Don't get over-involved with this situation. I feel like that's what they're saying because a lot of you are going to feel like, well, for now, I need to be overly involved to, to make it be a success. They're saying it's not really true. Let other people to pick up the, the slack. Keep your, keep your involvement as minimal as possible, but your voice as valid as possible. So people hear you when you say something. People listen to you when you need to be heard. But you don't, you're not doing the everyday, you know, keeping the situation going. This is where it's heading, and I feel like this is what they're saying. This is where it is actually heading. Whatever you decide to do today, literally like 10 years from now, I'm getting that 10-year feel, you're still going to be doing the same. You're going to feel trapped, like you can't get out of it. I'm getting this invisible card, like you have a voice, but you don't feel like it's being heard. There's a lot of reminder here. The reminder in the environment is saying, no, we already set the rules. Reminder is saying, oh, we took the oath. And we're sticking to it. We're reminding you that we took that oath. And we're reminding you that we're not changing. Ironically, there's the Ten of Cups here. Like, everything does work. But I don't feel like you need to have these. You don't need to feel this way to have this to work. Even though it's going to work out very good. And people are going to be very happy. And nobody's going to be on bad terms. You don't have to feel trapped. And you don't have to feel invisible when this happens. That's what your heart's trying to tell you. You don't have to accept that. You don't have to believe you have to build the whole thing by yourself or take initiative to make sure things work out. Let other people do it. You can fight for your voice to be heard right in the beginning to make sure you're heard in the beginning and you're heard the whole way through. You're always heard. Like you want to be, look out for these two things. Don't let yourself be invisible. Don't let yourself feel trapped. Right now, the invisible is very important because like if, if you don't feel like people are listening to your voice now, they're not going to listen to it anymore later. If they are listening to you now, make sure they continue to. Just establish that as like a base principle. Like you will listen to me. You will hear me. This is why. <laughs> make that a point now. Fight for it now if you need to. Because some of you might. You might have to fight for it. But once once you've achieved it, you'll keep it. Then you can kind of negate that out to where you don't feel invisible. The trapped, this is the other component. Like So you don't feel trapped in it. Like Don't be overly involved. Yes, you want success for it. Yes, you are going to be involved to a degree, but keep it a minimal degree. Keep your voice loud so you, they hear you when you need to say something, but don't get overly involved because you will feel trapped and this is not going to be good. Reverse that too. It feels like, honestly, when I'm feeling the trapped for you, it feels like that's the harder one to turn around. That's the harder one to not end up feeling trapped down in the future. Because I feel like you have a very strong initiative to move things forward and be very helpful and get things going. Don't let it work against you, though. Try to hold back. Get other people to do this stuff like that. Get other people to handle those things so you don't feel trapped later. You can you can negate the trapped as well. Seems like it's harder to negate that one than the invisible one. That's what your heart's trying to sell, tell you right now. It's like, don't, don't. Put yourself in these positions where you end up feeling invisible and trapped. Don't allow that to happen. See what's going on right now. Realize what you're what you're coming into, what it starts as, it continues as. Keep it. But keep it where you want it. Establish it where you want it. Establish it with the foresight. Like, no, I don't want to be running the show every day, all day, 10 years from now, looking back like I'm still doing the same thing. I don't want that. So don't let that happen to you. And I think we're there. All right, I'm going to shut that down there. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. It's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you. Thank you for watching. 
If you'd like a direct reading from me, please remember to e either email me at jamesforastral at gmail.com for current pricing, or I'm currently on the, my Instagram at james13wicca. Just go to my Instagram. I should have it posted there what my current pricings and options are if you're interested. Thank you very much again for watching.